what do you say? Yes, George, it's quite uh, hot here now in Delhi and it's getting hotter and hotter uh, by day. Uh, regarding jet airways issue, you know it is uh, presently flying uh, seven to nine planes out of its original fleet of 120, 123 planes. It grounded almost all its aircrafts over the last few weeks as its uh, financial health worsened miserably. Now, due to uh, uncontrollable cash crunch and a whooping debt of equivalent of uh, over $1 billion, it has continually defaulted on payment to aircraft leasing firms, oil companies, vendors, and so on. The airline has now, uh, as I understand, suspended all its international flights. Uh, the, the company's thousand plus domestic pilots who have not been paid for more than three months have uh, threatened to stop working by, uh, by Monday, uh, uh, that's day after, unless uh, the, the, the wages and the arrears are cleared. The lenders led by the Indian government owned State Bank of India, uh, they, they, they are expecting that by May 7th, things will become uh, clear and, and take some shape uh, with the conclusion of the process of uh, selection of bidders. Uh, the SBI led uh, uh, lenders consortium has called for uh, expression of uh, interest to buy uh, a controlling stake of 51 to 75 percent in jet airways. Uh, April uh, 30th is the last date for submission of final bids. Uh, Jets uh, founder promoter Mr. Go Goyal as you already know was forced out last month and jet is now controlled primarily by by the lenders uh, earlier the lenders had refused to infuse the uh, the the already assured interim funding of about 207 uh, 17 million us dollars uh, equivalent but but i understand that now uh, they they are uh, taking a dynamic sort of decision uh, with, with regard to infusing uh, perhaps uh, an equivalent of 150 million US dollars in order to keep uh, jet airways afloat uh, for the time being. Uh, hope some existing partner of jet comes forward to rescue it soon, like Etihad Airways that already owns 24% uh, uh, of, of jet. That only time will tell. Thank you, Hamid.